What's up you guys, it's VDX and I'm really excited about today's video because I historically have pretty bad execution. I was a Noctis player in Tekken 7, yes I could do electrics, yes I could do wave dashes, but when it comes to combo execution I consider myself pretty weak. So when I decided to pick up Lily, I was failing combos constantly. I would hop into a ranked match and I would do all of the lab work. I would practice all these combos and all that, but when I would show up in a real game, my combos would look like some disaster. I'd be like this, and then some jabs, and oh my god, I didn't even do a tornado, right? It was like, I practiced this for hours, why can't I do it in a game? So, after talking to a lot of pro players, I think I've come up with a good method to try to solve this kind of problem. And the idea is that you could apply this, this kind of approach to any character's execution, right? Um, I treat this as my warm-up. I, I don't want to go into a ranked game not knowing how to do my combo because I'm I want to in ranked in a set I want to focus on my movement I want to focus on my defense right I want to build that awareness of my opponent's strings and options the last thing I want to be thinking of that thinking of in that situation is doing my combo I want this to be totally available on autopilot so all of my attention can go on my opponent my defense and how I can improve okay so I think warming up is crucial and I want to show you the warm up I came up with and again applicable in concept to hopefully and hopefully any character so again the first thing i identified is that my combo game sucks and what would happen is i would get a launcher and fumble the rest of it i would have no idea what to do next i know the combo but not in battle how do we fix that so i decided to drill the first part of the combo only when i was practicing combos i realized in practice mode it's so easy to get used to the first three parts and just autopilot the uh, autopilot these and while you're autopiloting these you are probably more focused on how to hit this like fancy ender, right? Oh, where's the wall? I'm trying to judge the wall distance. I'm trying to make sure I uh, calculate this properly so I can get the max damage ender, things like that. And because of that, our attention drifts from the beginning. So my drill is strictly focused on landing the first part because, well, no shit, the problem in the combo was the first part. I will literally hop in five minutes before and just do this. My launcher, my filler, my tornado. This is the actual combo I'll use, right? So I'm not like dumbing down the combo. This is actually what I'll do in game. But I need to make sure when my attention is all focused on rank, I need, or sorry, on like the ranked gameplay, I need to be able to switch to combo mode with just my hands. Wow, I can't even land this tornado. There we go. <laughs> I need to be able to switch to combo mode instantly because when I'm doing all this, moving around, poking, defending, I'm in like Tekken mode. And then I land the launcher and I'm not ready to switch to combo mode. So this drill is designed to keep my hands ready for combo mode. I'm only doing these first three moves. And then I have a few launchers I try it with, right? I have my down forward two, which is kind of a whiff punish. I have up forward three, which is my block punish. And then I have while standing two, which is a bit of both, right? And often I'll be so hyped that I ducked the low, that I blocked a big low, got my launch, that I'll forget what I was doing. So I practice it with this especially as well. Also because Lily's combo is a bit different for this. And it's tempting, but I don't move forward at all. I just do those hits. Maybe the tornado, right? But no extra, no extra inputs outside of the very, very basics, right? And generally the tornado anyways, is where you can your attention can kind of dip a bit because it, it, it stabilizes the combo like you get a little break after the tornado mentally so those are my tips for fixing like combo execution where you show up into a ranked game and just suddenly forget your combos grind out the beginning and again like five to ten minutes both sides one player and two player side because the worst thing is getting thrown you're on player two side and all of a sudden it's time to do a combo and you're like uh my hands have no idea what to do right that's enough of that Another issue I had was practicing Lily's like very high execution, relatively, uh, specific mechanics, okay? So if you play like a Mishima and you're trying to like nail electrics, this is an approach you can copy. Break it up into pieces. So Lily, if you don't know, uh, has a mechanic called Do Glide. Uh, Do Glide cancels. Do Glide is her stance. You can cancel it because it's a crouch dash. You can cancel it by tapping up. In Tekken, we call this a crouch cancel, if you didn't know. So. During this slide, I'm kind of stuck. I'm stuck in the stance. I could do like stance moves, but I can't do like other actions. If I want to take another action, like blocking, for example, you'll notice if I'm holding back, nothing happens. She's stuck sliding forward. If I want to cancel this, I have to sidestep. And once I sidestep, I can block a bit faster. You see that? 
Now, this is a multi-move mechanic, right? I have to hit my attack, hold forward, tap up, and then tap back if I want to block. Multiple steps. The key is to break it down as small as possible. I don't think I need to practice back one, okay? Just some people might. No shade. But uh, back one forward I will take for granted as our base movement, okay? And then I want to start practicing just the crouch cancel. And the idea here is that I'm halfway through the crouch dash, and I can input this really, really early, right? If you look at my hands here, I'm tapping it super early. And she steps like way after I've done it. It buffered the movement input. The point of this is I want to see how quickly, visually, she can actually cancel this step. And I want my eyes to get comfortable with that exact moment. And I want my hands to get used to hitting this back, forward, up. Sometimes it's too easy to hold the forward too long, and then you miss the sidestep window or you do it late. So I want to hit back forward and tap up as soon as I can to buffer that movement while still getting the input I want. All right, I would do this until I'm comfortable, right? Until I keep getting every cancel on the exact moment that you're able to instantly. The next layer is to add that back input, that block, right? In a game, I want to block if I mess up. If you're sidestepping, you can't block. So, I'm going to practice adding that back input. Right? And again, I'll do that until I'm comfortable. Usually it takes me a bit longer, but I made a video, so I had to warm up a bit before. Next layer I want to add is this special attack confirm that Lily has. If she hits back one on counter hit, she can cancel into an attack. The problem is, as you can see, if I mess up and do it late, this attack is minus 15. I can die. I can get launch punished. So I never want to mess this up. I want to visually see the counter hit and do the execution so well that I get my guaranteed hit. Right? Can't have this happen in a game. So what I'm going to do is practice that. I practice these first two movements so I could get my cancel at the fastest speed. And next I'm going to cancel just the first part. Oh geez, sorry, I'm scrolling everywhere. I want to cancel just the first part. We just do the first part because there are multiple points of failure here. If I'm hitting the button too soon or focus on hitting the last hit, it can mess up how I do the first hit. So I'm only going to do the first hit. <clears throat> and I want to do it until I'm really, really consistent. I want to say like 8 out of 10 times. But to me, the comfort is more important than the success rate. You can see the combo counter on the left shows that this is a true combo. And if I keep messing it up, I'm going to go back to a previous step. I'm just going to do this. Right? Until I nail it, and I'll try again. Yep. Something like that. And this comes into play in my combos later, too. So it's actually a dual-purpose kind of exercise if you're a Lily player. Once I get comfortable with that, I'm going to try to do the whole string. When I was practicing this initially, something that would happen is I would get like this or uh, this, and I realize that's because I'm hitting the two too fast. So it's getting absorbed or like eaten during my crouch dash input. So what I have to do is make sure I'm prioritizing hitting the two first before I hit the three. You wanna diagnose your problems based on your input history and what the expected move is. And odds are if you're only getting like a move you don't expect, you might be hitting a button too soon or too late. All right, let's keep it moving. This is a Lily specific technique, but I think it's worth mentioning. Um, out of this crouch, da crouch dash, out of the uh, back one counter hit do glide, she has two, she has multiple follow up options. One of them is, is this heat engager, that's guaranteed. And one of them is just her 10 frame punish. Like that. If you mess up and accidentally get this, then this two four string does nothing, right? If you actually do this properly and hit one, because the uh, heat engager is called uh, is input with two one, then you get nothing for that. If you don't know what an option select is, it's where we do one input and get two possible outcomes. Two pos two possible outcomes depending on what the game state is. So what I do is I have a one plus four button right here. You can see in the input history one plus four. What I do is when I do this cancel, I hit. 2 and then 1 plus 4. If I mess up like I just did there, it gives me this do glide 2-1. If I succeed 
and hit my crouch cancel, then I get 2-4. It covers both options. Option select. This is a Lily specific thing, but see if you can come up with little tricks or talk to other players for your character when you're doing kind of uh, like execution practice like this. It's a cool little trick. Anyways, I'm going to practice that as well. And then what you want to do is start to level up your execution, make it more realistic for a game. OK, so what I'm going to do is turn on random counter hit because in a real game, you don't know if you're going to counter hit. So the skill we need to develop once our hands are perfect at doing this is making sure we can our brain and eyes can turn it on in reaction to the screen, right? When I get a counter hit, there's a big boom. The hit spark is like wider and longer. And I want to react to that and do my cancel. If I don't get that, I want to block, which is what we warmed up in the beginning, right? And I don't want to do it on accident because I'll be punishable. I can die. Right? And again, if I start messing up a basic movement, I go back to the previous step. It's not warm enough yet. Right? And I don't... Here, the focus should be my hands are great. My hands are nailed. Perfect. This is eye and brain training. All right? I'll do this. This will take a while. These warm-ups take a long time. But I think it's worth it because, again, all of my ranked gameplay after this warm-up will be purely efficient, like defensive study, offensive study, player habit study. There won't be a lot of mental space wasted, no mental stack on can I land my combo? How do I land my combo? And that's really important because you'll improve way faster this way. Just to level it up even more, we'll get through this really quickly and go to the next thing. I will also turn on random blocking. You're not always going to hit your opponent. You're not always going to counter hit them. So I should be able to block after they block. Make sure I stay safe. And I should be able to re react. I didn't even turn on random block. I just did standing block. React to a regular hit and a counter hit like that and not mess up. So level up your drills so that your body will be prepared for the situations that show up in game. Random block, random counter hit. And that's my do glide warm up for Lily. That is kind of a build up the hand movement and then level it up for in game practice with your eyes and brain. If you want a specific guide for this for like Mishima's or something, I can try. It's hard to see how it applies the same way. Maybe converting a electric on block uh, or like changing your behavior from an electric on block to an electric on hit. Um, but we'll talk about that later. That's a different topic. I have one more thing that I use for Lily and it's her wall carry options. Just like with the do glide cancels for like neutral, she can cancel into combos. I'm going to turn off this random block and demonstrate what I'm trying to say. She can do things like back one into another back one if you cancel it really smoothly. And if this takes forever, I will link a timestamp below so you can immediately see it. She's able to link multiple back ones, right? With the clean execution of a proper Lily player, you can get way more. I can only get like three. It depends on the situation and the combo as well. But I don't want to mess this up in game. I got my launcher. I did all these drills. I don't want to lose the damage that I deserve, right? I want to be deserving of getting the whole combo damage. So just like before, I'm going to practice the individual movements. But this time, I'm going to try to add it to combos once I'm really, really comfortable. So there's, again, the base movement of just crouch canceling where I tap up and I want to see the window of where it's available. And then there's a few specific specific ones. You saw this already when in my counter hit situation. The forward two, three. But another one, let me turn on the... Actually, no, I don't need counter hit for this. And then the other one is this up three, three into this. Because different moves go into stances slightly differently, like different timings, it's important to lab how it works for all of these situations, not just the one convenient one, like back one. I want to hit this and see if I can convert that into the forward two, three. The idea is that I can get a big wall combo like this. If I don't drop the middle part. If we end up being here a while, you could take this time to hopefully leave a like or a comment if you think I missed something and you have any questions. Boom! Combo. 96 damage. 
And losing any of that feels horrible, right? So this is why I do these warmups. This is why I do these drills. The wall carry ones are a bit more self-explanatory. And this kind of leads into what I was mentioning at the very beginning. These happen at the end of the combo. So when you're just grinding these, which a lot of people do, it's easy to forget about the start of the combo. That's why my drill starts at the very beginning with the start of the combo. I want to prioritize having this in game because I'll never get to the end part if I can't even, you know, get past the start, obviously. But just for completeness, this is what I will do at the end of my warmup is nail these wall carry options and really get the max damage. The difference Lily in Lily's damage is anywhere from like 10 to 20 damage by doing the right wall carry option. Now, one thing I want to urge is don't get too complex. Like, don't add too many options. Like, Lily has a lot of combo routes. Many other characters with good execution or, like, high execution have multiple combo routes. I'm still trying to keep it simple, right? My three combos off of my main launchers are basically just this QCF3. I spent a lot of time talking with Lily mains and a bunch of other players to try and find one or two combos that will be stable for as many situations as possible. Because, again, my ultimate focus, why we're here in the first place, is so that when I'm playing ranked, I can lock in on the important player versus player skills I need. The combos I want to get out of the way. I don't want to think about it at all, if possible, right? Obviously, you're going to have to think about it a little bit. And this is my method for doing that. So see if you can apply this to your characters. Like, uh, you know, you have electrics. You can break into small steps like forward, neutral, down, down, forward. If you saw my Korean backdash guide, I'm all about breaking down movements really slowly. Even if it's not practical, like it would never show up as a real input or like you would never be able to execute it in game like that there's so much hand and mind programming like your your nervous system needs to be programmed so last example one thing i'm working on for lily as well is her instant while standing i think there's potential here to use her while standing two as a whiff punish like if you look at how far it hits like two and a half back dashes away she can get it right so I think if I'm able to do this instantly, right? Because her down forward two whiffs, but her while standing two hits. If I could do this instantly, I will have access to an insane whiff punish. And if you play a crouch dash character, the, the trick here is that down, down, forward, neutral gives you instant while standing. If you do a full QCF and get the crouch dash, she does, their, she does her stance move in this case. But if I skip the forward and just do down, down, forward, down like the, the the down in the diagonal she gets an instant while standing and i think i'd have access to an insane whiff punisher here so to grind this i'm going slow i want to feel where my hand gets that down forward input like i'm looking at my input history here i want to make sure i'm not hitting this forward just the down down forward right and i will literally just do this making sure I never get that last forward. And when I'm ready, I will try to add the attack. But it's important to break it up. Because you saw at the start of this video, or like at the start of this section, I was constantly doing this. And just after a few seconds of grinding this specific movement, I can do it. These warm-ups really, really help. And now if I hop into ranked, after what? 18 minutes of practice? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be so much better. Because this is the kind of warm-up that, like, I'll probably demote three times trying to do this warm-up in a game. Dropping my combos, messing up and getting this, getting, like, a... If this gets counter-hit and I, I get launched, like, if I don't do the string at the right link, and I get launched, like, how many games will I lose? I don't even want to think about it. So I think the warm-up is crucial, and this is how I'll be warming up before every set. Even if I get really good at this execution, because I don't have years of experience on Lily, this is how I'm going to catch up. This is how I'm going to build the legacy experience. So hopefully that was helpful. I know this is a bit long, but I think execution in Tekken is so cool because the best players are so consistent and it's not some godlike talent. I mean, it is some godlike talent, right? But we can develop it. You saw how bad my combos were in this video. And I believe if I follow this regimen, I will come out looking like a really solid Lily player. Um, Hopefully that was helpful. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if there's any questions you had or if I missed something. And a like would be great as well. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.